I'm Bill, I'm with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage, where today we have the 2022 BMW S1000 RR up on the lift for a modification that is a must do almost immediately. That's right, we are eliminating the whale dong today. The license plate and tail lights are coming off and we are replacing them with the new TST industry uh, tail light conversion. So we're getting rid of the blinker tail lights and the new TST ones tuck up in this little cubby. So nice and clean and streamlined. And then we're gonna be relocating the tail light or excuse me, the license plate down underneath the bike. Uh, so this is gonna be a step-by-step, -step, fairly easy, 30 minutes probably max as far as time, some basic tools, but you gotta have a bit of patience because we're gonna have to do a little bit of wiring, which I'm gonna walk you through, and a little bit of taking the tail fairing off. So uh, let's get the chesty cam on and let's walk through step-by-step -step on how to install the new TST industry tail lights on the new S1000 RR. All right, so here's everything you're gonna get in the TST industry uh, box. You're gonna obviously get your two tail lights. They include uh, two sets of wiring harnesses. They are not wired. You are going to have to wire them because these are both set up for either Australia or Europe or US versions. The difference is the amber lights are available in Europe and Australia in uh, the US market. They are not, they're all red. So you're gonna have to wire them up Pretty simple, I'm gonna walk you through uh, all of that. And bolts and washers, some heat shrink. And then what we decided to do for the license plate holder is we went with the mount that's going to go in the passenger peg. So we're gonna be removing the passenger pegs and then tucking the license plate up underneath. And then uh, as far as once the tail comes off, there's a big gaping hole. And what we've decided to do is go with the uh, stock BMW uh, holder and uh, block off. Now this is basically the race block off plate for the tail and then they also include um, uh, mirror block offs but uh, all the bolts are here and then they also give you guys these little um, um, dummy plugs to plug in there. So uh, we're going to walk you through step by step on how to remove all the fairings. Pretty simple T25s all the way around. You need one tool. We're going to remove this the seat, the top seat, and then remove this for this fairing, remove the two bolts here, the other fairing, and then we're going to, once we get that done, we're gonna remove this bolt, which is where the tail light sit. So let's go ahead and get the bike back down and get all of the seats off and the side fairings off. All right, so like I said, you guys need one bolt, either a ratchet or I've got the impact screw gun uh, to remove all the bolts. We'll put it in by hand, but to remove them, uh, T25, so we're gonna remove the front seat, the, uh, the, the main seat, and uh, if you just pull up back here, you'll see right in here is a little bolt. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this bolt. So one bolt here, and that removes your seat. Now go ahead and remove the passenger seat. So go ahead and get your key in there. So we're gonna go ahead then remove the passenger seat. All right, next what you have to do is this side piece, the side painted piece here has to come off and it's one bolt right down here. And let's see, right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this one bolt. Now, once that bolt's removed, you can get your fingers back here behind here. And what I like to do is I always start down at the bottom here and we're gonna pull the clips forward. There's a couple clips here, a clip here, and a couple clips up here. And then we're going to bring the, the whole fairing back. So let's see if I can get both hands in here and let's see if I can pop these loose. And you're gonna see it's all pop, pop, pop. And then the last one right at the very end and then it just pops right out. Pretty simple, no lost tabs, everything is solid. So the reason why we have to remove this is a couple different reasons. Obviously, A, we've got to get in uh, and remove this bolt, which is where the bolt, the lights are um, in. And then if you guys look right in here is the connection for the tail or the, the tail lights and blinkers. Now we're gonna move this inside the, uh, the luggage compartment because we don't wanna have to take these fairings off every single time. We wanna disconnect our tail lights and blinkers for the track. So uh, let's go ahead to the other side and remove it. Remember one bolt, go ahead and remove that bolt. And then we're gonna get our fingers in here and start pulling. 
This one came pretty quick, so careful. And voila. So now you can see the plug. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fetch these plugs out. So you can see they just kind of come out of the, the little socket carrier and there's some zip ties in here. So we're gonna snip the zip ties because we wanna take these plugs inside the luggage compartment here. So let's go ahead and uh, take them out of the metal bracket and then cut the zip ties and then route the plugs in through here so they're in here now. So as you can see, we've got it unzip tied and we're gonna just push this right into the trunk and you'll see we're gonna grab them out here on both sides and then we're gonna leave them in the trunk. We're not gonna come back out here personally. Now, if you guys want, and you guys don't plan on disconnecting the, the tail lights for any reason, then you can come back in here and keep it all tidy. But we keep ours for the S1000R and now the double R. We're gonna keep them back here so that um, we can plug them and unplug them and plug them in as we come in and off the track. All right, so once you've got the plugs undone and fed through here, you are going to have to remove the OBD2 bolt, which is one bolt right there. It's a slightly smaller, uh, I believe it's an 18, a T18. And we're gonna go ahead and just remove this bolt. All right, so once you get that second bolt out of the back, now you're going to have this all loose, okay? So you've got your little um, uh, USB plug over here, OBD2 port here. And all of this stuff is all zip tied onto this. So what we do is cut the zip tie and then you'll see that there's one more plug that's hidden on this side. And we need to release this plug. This is our, uh, our license plate plug. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna unzip this one and take it inside and unsnap that. So we've got our three plugs that run back here all unplugged. And voila, we have our three plugs all nice and loose. So we're gonna keep this, just tuck this back down to the side. Now we have our three plugs loose. So now what we can do is go underneath and remove with the same T25, remove the black license plate. So right under here, there are two T25s. You're gonna go ahead and remove number one, number two, and then this license plate holder is just gonna come right out. All right, with those two bolts removed, you can go ahead and slide the tail towards you. And then out comes the plugs, one by one, two, and three. And uh, that's it. We're gonna get rid of this completely. We'll obviously need the tail or the license plate, but uh, let's go ahead. And now what we're gonna be doing is removing the two bolts in the plastic carrier. There's two bolts that go straight up. So what you're gonna do, again, back to the same T25, and we're gonna go ahead and remove this bolt completely. And once you remove that bolt, you're gonna go ahead and slide this clip out. We don't need that clip because what we're gonna do is use that hole to mount the new taillights. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is mount the taillights. Now, uh, to tell right and left, obviously, is how they're gonna fit. The TST Industries goes up on the back of the left side. We're gonna take our three little plugs, run them up and through the hole, and once we've got them through, we're gonna go ahead and feed this up and through. And now this hole is a little bit tight, not too bad, but it's a little bit tight. Then you're gonna take your washer and you're gonna slide your washer over everything down to the bolt. Then we're gonna take our nut and slide it through each one. So you're gonna have to get each wire through, otherwise it won't, it won't all work. So you're gonna slide each wire through individually and once that's done, then the nut comes straight down all the way to the end, and we'll start threading that on. And it looks like that's an eight millimeter, so let's go ahead and snug this up with the eight millimeter, or a 10 millimeter, whichever one fits. Uh, it's gonna be your 10 millimeter. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this snugged up all the way. All right, so then onto the other side, we'll run the wires through the top, all the way through, get it seated in. Push the bolt through, washer all the way down, and then bolt, one wire, one wire, one wire, and then all the way down, and then just snug it up with your 10 millimeter. All right, so what you're gonna do is uh, make sure you grab all of these wires nice and tight, and you're gonna slide 
the little sleeve back a bit. This way you can slide on your little heat shrink wrap. So you're gonna slide on one on each wire and do this on the, uh, the brake light side. So one on each wire. All right, for you guys in the US, it's pretty simple. In the uh, Europe, I'll explain it to you. So always black to black. So we're gonna slide each male and female together. So this just slides right in there. And uh, the only difference between these two plugs is amber or not. Now, if you're in the US, unfortunately, I'm told it does not work the opposite way, but of course we're gonna go ahead and try it. So let's go ahead and just uh, for Europe, we're gonna go yellow to blue for Europe and amber light and then red to gray. And then what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and plug this one in to just to test it, slide all of our little heat shrink over. Now don't, don't heat shrink it yet. <laughs> don't heat shrink it yet. So we're just gonna test this to see if BMW maybe had changed anything in the 22. So let's go ahead over to the other side and then install this one. All right, so US guys, it doesn't work. So what we're gonna do is for the US, we just reverse the yellow to gray and then the red to blue. And then once we slip this over, you'll uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like, what happens. So once we turn this bike on, you'll see. So we've got our red lights over here, but over here we've got amber lights. So we've got to obviously have brake lights. So, uh, and then you'll see if we apply the brakes, the brakes, but it just breaks in amber. And then uh, if we do blinkers, all it does is it's just a steady one color. So uh, we definitely need reds for the rear. So let's go ahead and switch this plug and then heat shrink all of this. So we'll get our heat gun out and heat shrink all of this. All right, so we've got a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a lighter. Uh, just be careful with it. Just don't burn the wires, but let's go ahead and make sure that these are nice and flush. And then we'll go ahead and turn on the heat gun and get those wires nice and crimped down. Once we've confirmed everything works, Perfect. Go ahead and heat shrink all of that down. And then hit the other side. Now, once you're done there, you're gonna go ahead and grab this and hold it and pull out the, uh, the little heat shrink there and just pull this cord. Make sure you hold there and then get it nice and pulled and tight. And you should butt up right up to here. All right, so now, do you want to put them back in here or do you want to run them in the trunk? If you want to run them in here, you just run the plug back through the back front here and then you'll go ahead and snap it in, okay? And then get it clipped back in the silver clip and then you'll just zip tie these up nice and tidy. Of course, what we're going to do, uh, because we're in the track most, most of the time, we're just gonna run this right through. We'll tidy tail it up uh, and tidy it up with some zip ties, but then we'll go ahead and plug it in here. But now, see, now I can access my plug so I can actually unplug it for the track and disconnect the tail lights. So once you've got that done, go ahead to the other side. We'll go ahead and run this through because again, we're not gonna go there and go ahead and plug that in. And that goes down there. And now what we can do is now get back in here and bolt down our little OBD2 holder. So we're gonna go ahead and mount this all back up here and get this mounted nice and clean and then tuck our tail lights underneath. All right, so you can see I've zip tied them and tucked them in. You still usable trunk, okay? But now I can actually pop this off and just unplug this when I'm going to the track, which will eliminate the tail lights. Now we have one issue and that is the uh, the license plate is going to give you an error when you disconnect the license plate. But remember I showed you guys the tail and I showed you guys those little dummy plugs. The dummy plug actually fits in there perfect. And guess what? When you turn on the ignition, you're not gonna get a license plate error because it's a dummy plug. So it, it's giving you the false, it's giving it the false reading. So you can see we've got Brake lights there, blinkers work. 
and then we'll come back here and test them. So blinking, solid, and then of course, if we push on the brake, we've got the brake and the blinking. And so now let's go ahead and tidy up the back tail with the little prong and then go ahead and get the license plate installed. All right, the BMW tidy tail thing's pretty easy. There's two little hooks. We're gonna hook them right into there and then we're gonna push it in. And then BMW includes two small bolts. You're just gonna use those same, same nut or same uh, screw bit. And we'll go ahead and get that in there, that in there. And then we'll get those tightened up and that's it. The tail is nice and clean. I love it. I love how clean it looks. And a nice little BMW emblem. So we'll go ahead and get these bolted up. Then we're gonna move on to removing the uh, rear passenger pegs. All right, so if you guys decide to go with a different tail or the TST uh, design tail that the license plate goes there and you're keeping the foot pegs, go ahead and skip this. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's one T or two T40 bolts. Uh, you're gonna just remove both of them and then the foot pegs come off. It's pretty simple. All right, with the license plate mounted to the mount, remember to use their bolts. Remember, you got to select the color that you wanted in here. I selected black. And then you're gonna run that through and you're gonna have it set like this and we're gonna be utilizing the back nut hole. So you're gonna take the six millimeter that they supply you and you're gonna thread it through each side and get it nice and tight. All right, so everything is tight. Everything is confirmed to be working. Now go ahead and slide this on. Now you'll see that this peg, there's a little peg back in the very back here. So you're gonna first slide that on and just make sure that that hooks in. So you're, before you clip it, make sure that that pops in the back and holds in. And once that's clipped in, go ahead and go clip, 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 and just clip everything nice and in. And then you'll take your uh, 25 and go ahead and secure it here. And then onto the other side, make sure you clip the back. Make sure it fits all the way around. Clip the very back first. And then go ahead and snap, 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 snap. Everything is snapped. And then go ahead then and secure your one bolt down here. And we're just wrapping up the last thing. Go ahead and take your seat and then remount your seat with the one bolt right in the middle in the back. And then your passenger seat. All right, well, there you have it. The TST Industry Taillight Integrated Blinkers with the BMW factory uh, tail holder and the TST uh, Industry uh, license plate tuck. Now, TST offers uh, a block off also, but I really liked the BMW one. I wanted to keep the emblem back there. I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, I really wanted to tuck the plate down here. So very cool, very, uh, very easy, about 30 minutes. Like I said, most of the time, you guys are gonna be fussing around with taking the fairings off and the side fairings. And then remember, uh, I personally left mine in the, uh, in the glove box back here in the trunk, just to kind of make it easy. Now, um, you guys see I do a lot of modifications on my bikes and I keep everything. Everything from all of the bikes that we have, those are all parts that need to go on, are all stuffed in these tubs down here. I keep all my stock parts because one, you never know when something's gonna happen and if the taillight goes out or whatnot, we've got a replacement, we can get back up on the road. Second is, a lot of people when they buy the bike really like the fact that you have the stock parts to go back on it. Maybe someone doesn't like these tail lights and they wanna put the stock tail on. You've got it, you can include it with it. So um, I keep all my stock parts, just FYI. But uh, thank you guys for sticking around. The TST Industry tail lights, very, very nice, very clean. Uh, the Futurist Moto one on the S1000R, I kinda like because it kinda gives you that, um, that tail light look. This is a little bit kind of bug-eyed, wider, but uh, I think it's a, one of the best options. Um, I don't really like the new Rage Cycle tail. Um, I'm kinda over that stuff. 
I like different, I like cool, and that's what these are. So thank you guys for sticking around for another video. Here on the S1000 RR, stick around you guys. Make sure you guys do the normal. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and then ring the bell notification. The bell notification is gonna give you future notifications of future content like we're about to replace the mirrors with the new Rizoma Stealth mirror. So stay tuned, but thank you guys for sticking around and we'll see you next video. Bye guys.